Okay, so this, this show is very serious. I think a lot of you are going to be shocked. Um, first of all, we know that a lot of people have been talking about teen marriages since the announcement that Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin's 17-year-old daughter, Bristol, is pregnant. And she's planning to marry Levi Johnston, the 18-year-old father of her baby. And everybody was like, oh, my God. Okay, and... Uh, but, you know, everybody's shocked. Everybody's shocked. But Bristol has the full support of her family. But not all teens have that support. The teens here today are desperate to get married, even though their parents are dead set against it. This is Caitlin. So, Caitlin, you look like a baby. <laughs> you look so young. How old are you? I'm 15. You're 15 years old. And you want to be married. Yes. Right? Okay, tell me, how old is the guy that you want to marry? He's 18. Okay, he's 18. Yeah. How old were you when you met him? I, it was about three years ago. He was my day camp leader. Wait, he was your day camp leader? Yeah, he so was dating So you were 12? Yeah, he was dating my sister. He was six, about 16 at the time. He was dating your... Wait, this is not just a show about teens now. Now <laughs> it's a show about not teens getting married. Now it's a show about he's dating your sister? Yeah. Okay, and then you were 12. Yeah. And you met him? He was your camp counselor? Yeah. Okay. And then when did you start dating him? About a year and a half ago. We met at uh, a school. He was with his friends and I was with my friends. And he asked for my number. So I gave it to him and we've been dating ever since. You've been dating ever since? Yeah. And I understand that a typical date for you guys is like, you like video games. Yeah. What video games do you like to play? Um, probably like Spongebob. <laughs> we play like racing games and stuff. Racing games and yeah. SpongeBob video games. Yeah. Very adult stuff there. <laughs> okay. And so you're engaged now? Yeah. I got you have a ring. ring? Yeah. It's not. I'm oh my gosh. Can we see that ring, guys? Wow. So you have a ring. Is this yeah. a real diamond? Yep. That's a real diamond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And, and how did he propose to you? Well, he took me up for supper. He didn't tell me what was going on, but I could tell there was something up. And then when we got there, we were eating and stuff, and then he's like, do you want to marry me? And I said yes. And I was nervous about what my mom was going to say, if she was going to be mad or not. Did he get on his knee and everything? No. He never got on his knee. He just, he just put it on my finger, the ring. He just put the ring on your yeah. finger. Okay, and what did you think when he's asking, did you say yes immediately? Yeah. You said yes. And what about your mom? Did, were you scared to tell your mom? Yeah, because she's not even married yet, and she would think I'm too young. She would think you're too young. So yeah. you told your mom, and what happened? She was mad. She was yelling at me and Ryan, and she's just like, you're too young for this. Like, and yeah. Why do you want to marry him? You're, oh, you're 15 years old. When I was 15, I was I'm trying to think. I was in the 10th grade, and I was just worried about if a boy liked me. <laughs> Like, I went to an all-girls school and was terrified of boys and would go to the boys' school and be like, like me, like me. I know I'm skinny and look weird, but like me. <laughs> like, what, why, why, are you, why do you want to marry him? Why not just be his girlfriend? Because I feel like I'm very mature than some, some most teens and stuff. I watch my sisters when my mom's at work, and I just feel like I'm, that's... That's just what I want to do. I know I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life. We know so, we're right for each other. So you watch your sisters when your mom's at work, yeah. and that's like an adult thing? Yeah, that's to me, because I watch them when she's at work. I have to get them ready, and I have pretty much help raise them. That's called babysitting. Yeah. <laughs> right? That, I don't think that's called co-raising. Um, tell me about the, the arrangements with Ryan. Who lives where? He lives with me. He lives with you? Yeah. And where do you live? I live with my mom. And where does he sleep in your house? He sleeps in my room with me. Do you have twin beds and he sleeps in one bed and you sleep in the other bed? No, we sleep in the same bed. You sleep in the same bed? Yeah. Like adults? Every single night? Yeah. And your mother is okay with that? Yeah. I'm going to ask you an adult question right now, okay? Okay. Do you have sex with him? Yeah, it's about maybe two times a day. <laughs> two times a day? Yeah. 
You have sex two times a day. First of all, you having sex, period, is just freaking me out because you look like a baby. You look like the little girls when I'm walking down the street that are like, oh my God, Tyra, I'm 12 and I want to be America's Next Top Model. <laughs> you're sleeping in the same bed. Your mother knows you're sleeping in the same bed. Does your yeah. mother know you're having sex? I don't really talk to her about that kind of stuff, really. Okay. She asks me, and I'm not going to lie to her, so I say, yeah. OK, so you do say that you are having sex. Yeah. When did you lose your virginity? What age? I was 13. 13 years old. And was it by this guy? No. It was not by this guy. OK, what do you do for protection? For we, protection against having a baby? Um, well, I was trying for a year to have a baby. And it but you were trying to have yeah. a baby? Trying to have a baby? Yeah. So no, no protection, no condoms, no nothing? No. You were trying to have a baby, like an adult woman would try to have a baby? Yeah. And what happened? It wasn't working, so I went on the internet and did some research, and I ordered these fertility drugs on my mom's credit card. You ordered fertility drugs? <laughs> fertility drugs? On the internet? Yep. And you actually take those drugs to have a baby? Yep. Did you get anything from a doctor? No. Saying that was OK? I don't even think there's studies on 15-year-old girls and what can happen with, by taking fertility drugs. Because what drug company would do a research on a teenager because that's not who it's for? You could be pregnant right now. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? You could be pregnant right, right now. OK. I know that you have an idol. Who's your idol? Well, Jamie Lynn Spears. <laughs> so Britney Spears' little sister is your idol because she got pregnant very young. Yeah, she, uh, she's doing a better job than Britney Spears, and she's an adult. What makes us think that I couldn't do a good job? She's a teen. I'm a teen. So you think she's doing a better job than Britney Spears just because you don't see what her day-to-day -day life is? Just because everything that happens on camera doesn't mean that that's the only thing that happens. Do you understand? Yeah. I go home, child, I look crazy when I take this hair off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you don't see that. Yeah. So this is not who I am every single second. Jamie Lynn Spears, what she represents to the world is not everything. But Britney Spears got her children taken away from her. I haven't seen Jamie Lynn Spears have her children taken away from her yet. OK, we have to take a break. Um, we'll be right back. Her mother is here. Her boyfriend is here. And I don't think mom knows about uh, you still doing these fertility drugs. I think she didn't want you to, know, to do that. No, she took them away from me. She took them away, and you're still taking them? Yeah. And I, I know that you are taking them to the next level. Before yeah. we take a break, tell everybody what you're doing now. Well, I would take, yeah, I'm up my own dose to two a day, like five days out of the month. So you've doubled the dose now. We'll be right back. only 15 years old. She is desperate to get married and even more desperate to have a child. She's 15 years old and is on fertility drugs that she bought on the internet without her parents' permission and she has now doubled up on the dose of the fertility drugs which is not even what even a grown woman is supposed to do. Um, her boyfriend Ryan is here. Uh, this, this boy that she says that she's in love with and she wants to be with for the rest of her life. And remember, She's 15 years old. All right, Ryan, come on out. OK. All right, did you just do that, Ryan, and kiss her like that to just make me uncomfortable? No. No. No? No. OK. Um, why do you think you're ready to be married? Uh, because Tyra, look. Listen, um, <laughs> me and Katie, like, I'm mature. We're both mature. And, like, she means everything to me. And uh, I love her. I love her so much. And I would do anything for her. And I have a job working 
doing a pizza, pizza man, pizza man job. <laughs> You're doing yeah. a pizza man job. Tell me about that job. Um, deliver pizzas. Okay. Yeah. Now, all work is honorable. I'm sure there's a lot of pizza delivery men watching the Tyra Show right now, and women. But I want to know how much money you make per year. Oh, I only make at least, I think, I think it's about a thousand. Thousand dollars a year? Yeah. Or a month? Not, not a year, like five. That. Like eight, you get paid eight. That's 10, a month. Eight ten. Eight ten. Eight dollars and ten cents an hour. So you don't even know how much that adds up for your yearly income. No. But you're mature. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Do you know that you sound really crazy right now? Oh, yeah. Really, really crazy. You see, you can't say that you're mature and then you don't know how much money you make a year. And she had to remind you how much you make an hour. You're showing your age right now. You're showing that you're a teenager. If your love is so strong and you say you will do anything for her because you love her so much. Yeah. And you know she's 15 years old. Yeah. Why, why not just wait? Because um, we're ready now. Well, we live together and everything, and... No, you live under her mama's roof. There's a difference. <laughs> That's a difference. That's not necessarily living together. That's just kind of crashing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me what makes you so ready. We're already having sex and everything. So. Whoa! All righty, so when I was having sex, I was ready to get married? <laughs> I am more than twice your age, and I'm still not ready to get married. I'm 34, I'm like double you plus four. <laughs> and still not ready. Tell me about how he makes you, how you say that he's like your Prince Charming. What does that mean? Well, we spend all our time together, and he does everything for me. He tries his best. And I just... He does everything for you like what? Like he, whenever he gets paid, he buys me whatever I want. He cleans when, he, he cleans things around the house. And he's just always there for me to talk to, like my best, he's my best friend too. Mm -hmm. So because he cleans and he talks and he buys you things, th that means he should be your husband and that you should have babies. He's there for me, he's like my best friend. And I, could, I don't think I, I would be with anybody else. What do you feel about her taking fertility drugs, Ryan? Um, well, we've been wanting a baby, so I'm, I'm with it. I would, You're prepared for five yeah. babies if they come Not out? Not five babies, but... Do you know that's what happens with fertility drugs a lot? Yeah. When you see the news and it's like, woman has eight babies! Yeah, yeah. She has that because she's taking fertility drugs, usually. So you prepared for that? You are prepared for quintuplets? Do you, know what even a, do you know what a quintuplet is? No. I, I have no, no clue. <laughs> if you have quintuplets, that means you have to sell a lot of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of pizzas. Yeah. What type of things would you teach your child? What are the things that you would instill in them? Uh, to do the right thing. Like, no... Let's pause right there. To do the right thing. Yeah. Like, get married at yeah, 15 get married years old. And no, not, not what we're doing. Because that's, no. is that, not everybody's like us. Not to do what you're doing because no. what you're doing is what? It's the wrong thing. We'll be right back. Yep. <laughs> Caitlin and her boyfriend Ryan are determined to get married no matter what their parents say. Caitlin, Caitlin's mom, Colette, is here. So when did you find out that they were engaged? So she told you, right, after he, he, he did it. And what were, she said your response, you got really mad. Tell me how that felt, what you were thinking and what you were saying. Well, I just said no way in hell, basically, because I was a, being a 15-year-old mother, I was a young mom, and I grew up, you know, and my sister, I have a sister who was 17 years old who got married. So you, ha you were a 15-year-old mother? Oh, yeah, I, her, for her brother. And then she, I, was at, I had her when I was 17. So I know what it's like to struggle. And, and that's, with, uh, that's with the child and stuff. And I'm a mother of two. Mm -hmm. And basically my response to her was, she don't have a job right now. He's just working a minimum, ma minimum wage job and they're living under our, my house, at, at, at my house under our roof. And they need money every day just to get by right now. 
So how are they going to get married? Like, you know, how are they going to get married? And how is he going to support her on a minimum wage job? Now, Mom, out of... I respect and you. I, res I, will not, I will not sign no papers. You and won't I sign the no... papers for them to get married. No. I respect you as a mother. Yeah, but, but big but. Um, you were saying, how are they going to, how's he going to support her? How are they going to do this? I know a lot of people are going, how could you let them live together? I know. Everybody at home is thinking that. I know they are thinking, how could you let them live together? She's 15. I know you say that you wanted to help him and you let him inside of your house, okay, nice person, good person, but you let him into your daughter's bed. I made a mistake. But why? Why did you allow it? That's what I want to understand mm -hmm. is why. We know you made the mistake, and I, I, just, honor, I, I think it's great that you admit to that, but And why? if I didn't, if, even if I said, okay, you're going to sleep here, you're going to sleep here, and I'm working a back shift, or if I'm not home, and or whatever the case may be, they're going to do it regardless. They're going to sleep in the same bed. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna... So because they're going to do it, that makes it okay for you to allow well, them? No, not... That's like to a parent saying, well, I know my, pa my kids are going to do drugs, so I'm going to roll the blood no, for them no, and light no. it. No, no. <laughs> That doesn't make yeah. sense. Kids break the rules. My mama had rules and I broke them. But there was a rule and that rule made me respect my house. Do you understand? All kids are gonna break the rules. That's what they do. Right. But we need the rule there because the rule is love. The rule is discipline. Tough love. Well, basically when it comes down to it, bottom line, that he's already been living in my house for a year and I, I love him like my own son, and I'm not gonna, there's nothing I can do about getting around the path. It, it, what's done is done, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. He's lived there, he's living there, but there's no way in hell that I'm going to let them get married. Okay. Or have children or any of that stuff. So I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to prevent that. So you took those fertility drugs from your I, daughter? Oh, when I found those, I took those from her. I took those from her, I took them to my doctor, I told him what they, you know, what these were, just to make sure they were real, because she got them off the internet. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that they were the real thing, or if it could have been something that could have harmed her, right? So, and I what took What did your the doctor say? He said, what is she, crazy? Yeah, I'm and glad he said basically, that. and I said, yeah, she obviously has to be. Like, she thinks in her mind that she's ready and mature enough to get married and have children, and she thinks she can do it because she takes care of, helps it with the two younger ones that I have. Yeah, which I called babysitting, not, okay. not parenting. One thing, I, I, you, your mother took those fertility drugs away from you. Yeah. What do you, what do you want to tell your mother today about those drugs? That I still have some of them, and I've been taking them, and I up my own dose. What do you want to say to her? Just, I was so young when I got, I know how hard it is to be a teen mother. And I didn't have my mother or my father. Okay, I didn't have anybody, so. I'm always gonna be there to support her, but one thing I'm not gonna s support is her trying to have a baby or trying to get go and get married. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that. She needs to finish, get her education. She's not even, she has, to, she has to get her grade 12. She needs to get a job. I want her to do all the things that I didn't get a chance to do. Well, I don't want her to repeat my mistakes. I want her to learn from those mistakes. And she's taking your mistakes and taking it to the next level. Basically, yeah, that seems to be what she's doing. Are yeah. you willing to make Ryan leave your house? Well, he's already, it's already been discussed about him going and getting his own place. He's going to, and I'm afraid that she's going to move out and try to move out is what I'm, I'm scared of. Would you move out if Ryan left? Probably. Even if your mom said, I love you and I'm going to support you and we're going to work through this? I don't Would know. you try to stay at home with your mom and still have Ryan be your boyfriend, maybe? Yeah, probably. But stay at home with your mama? Yeah. Really? I'd probably think about it. You think about it and stay at home. What are you thinking right now? I feel like there's a sadness inside of you now, Caitlin. I just feel bad. Why do you feel bad? 
Because it's not like I want to do the things that my mom did. I just feel like I'm ready. I didn't, I'm not trying to make no mistakes or nothing. You thinking that maybe there could be some mistakes about it being too early? Yeah. Yeah? Ryan, you hear that? Yeah. That's called cold feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like more she than cold feet because she's a baby. She yeah. can hand my kids back to me. You know, like it's like, here, mom, I'm tired. I want to go lay down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if, if she's watching one of my younger daughters, I've got two. <laughs> she can't hand back her own. Exactly my point to her. Yeah. She sees how I struggle right now and how hard it is. She sees how tough it is. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. My boyfriend has a good paying job. I'm working on this, she's not making that, but it's, it's a job, minimum wage, you know, just to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. And we it's are honorable. just making it, just making it. Mm -hmm. And she sits there and she sees it. So why would, why, like, why would you seriously want to put yourself in that position? You have to realize, like, you know, you don't have to pay no bills right now. You don't have to pay for all your own bills, your food. I had, you, I, you guys don't have to think of any of, any of that stuff right now. Caitlin, what, what inside, what inside, is there something that like hurts inside that makes you want your own baby? Sometimes, you know, there's something that makes us sad inside and it makes us want like our own. Why don't you come sit next to me right now? Come sit next to me. Okay. And sometimes, you know, there's something that makes us sad and it makes us go, I just want to be married. I just want my own baby because I don't feel good. I just go through a lot in my life. Like, I don't have no friends. My dad's not in my life. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I need to grow up and stop thinking about myself. And I just want someone that I can prove that I can care about somebody else as much as, like, more than other people thought about me. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> with Caitlin, she's 15 and she wants to be married and she's taking fertility drugs to have a baby at 15 years old. Um, and before the break, I asked you what's hurting inside to make you want to be married so young and to make you want to have a baby so young. And you were talking about not having a daddy and him not being there for you. And you want something to love you and you want to love something that doesn't hurt, right? So tell me about not having a dad and, and, and how that, well, we all have fathers, but not a present father and how that makes you feel? It hurts my feelings. He tells me that he doesn't, he's like glad that he's not in my life. He don't want nothing to do with me. Has he ever been to jail, your dad? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, does anybody in the audience have anything to say? Any opinions? Hi, um, my name's Caitlin. I'm 17 years old and I really enjoy the freedom I have as a teenager. I mean, I'm not ready to, to be able to look after somebody else and to care for a baby. I, I'm too busy trying to look after myself right now, so I think you should think about trying to look after yourself first. Mm -hmm. So she's 17 years old. She's older than you, but she's like the same age you know, the same yeah. age range. With her saying it does, it, does it sound any different? Do you hear something different coming from somebody that's your age? I don't like, really, I don't have friends to do stuff with. Uh, my life, I just feel like it's really boring and I want something new because. Why don't, don't you have friends? Because I'm, I'm different from most of them. Like most girls where I live, they talk about you behind your back, and I don't want to like have a bunch of friends and then talk about me behind my back because that's all they've ever done. And all they do is hurt me. She had a couple close friends, and they just turned to drugs and stuff, so she got away from those. She had some bad friends. Right. There's bad friends everywhere, Caitlin. I have had bad friends in my life. Oh my gosh, that hurt my feelings. That stole my man. <laughs> all kind of bad friends, but it doesn't make me write off every single girl. It makes me say those are bad girls, and I'm gonna go find some good ones. Yeah. Okay. Just like you're trying to find a baby, trying to have a baby, you can go after and search for, for friends too. So many girls, they get ready, they put on their little cute little makeup and the little cute headbands, and they go out and they try to find boys. You can go out and try to find friends that are girls too. You have to use that same amount of effort to find good people in your life. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. And before 
what you're trying to do is you're trying to put a Band-Aid on something. You're trying to put a Band-Aid on a sore that is so raw. You ever get a sore and it's like raw and it hurts and it's like getting all pussy and gross and you put a Band-Aid on it and the Band-Aid just keeps falling off and the pus just keeps keep getting worse yeah. and it just like itches yeah. and like ugh. Well, that's what you're doing right now. You're trying to put a Band-Aid that just keeps, fall that's gonna keep falling off. Having a baby, getting married, those are like issues that like, I still am an adult and I'm still like, ooh, I'm not ready for that. All right, and I know you came on my show because you think I'm a pretty cool girl, right? Yeah. Watch yeah. your mm -hmm. show every day. Watch my show every day. And you knew that when you came on the Tyra show, Tyra would say, are you crazy? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And I think that you are in a state of craziness right now. I think you are. It's a state of pain, which makes us think crazy. But I hope that we have given you some tools to understand that you're beautiful, strong, very strong, very strong-willed girl but you have to focus that in a different direction, right? Not about getting married and having babies, but taking care of you first. Yeah. And then once you're big and strong, then you can be like in your 20s or 30s and have babies and be strong. Okay, you took a pregnancy test before the show and you're wondering if you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. You want me to tell you if you are or not? You're not pregnant. <laughs> We'll be right back.